you're one of the people when I say you're like the last living comedy writer, it's like you're not especially interested in fame. Like even David Sedaris is more interested in fame than you are. Right. Well, I'm not on social media. That's sort of the big one. Is I, I I'm I'm one of the first people to reject social media because uh, I was classmates with Mark Zuckerberg at Harvard. What did you guys think of him? Uh, I didn't know him personally. Okay. Um, but I knew about Facebook or or the Facebook. Uh, when it was launched, I, you know, uh, my roommate was, I think, maybe the tenth or twelfth person to sign up for this new service that had started across yeah. across the campus. Did you go to school with Jared Kushner? He's a little older than me. Because I remember yeah. I've heard someone said his reputation in college was he was craven and amoral. It's like that's a pretty great but that college feels, rep. That feels like redundant if you're describing a Harvard undergraduate. I mean, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this this thing Facebook started, and it was just like watching a friend suddenly like try crack, and their life. Your roommate. Yeah, and you're just like, oh, this is this is not a drug that anyone should try. And I felt like really, I'm like one of those things where you'd get back to your room and he'd be on it, and you'd be like, the you're fuck like, are you oh, doing? his life has completely changed. All he cares about is from this. the most from the earliest iteration of the Facebook. Yeah, from moment one, it's it's like, um, oh, I had this friend who was a normal, happy, well-adjusted person. They've become addicted to this very scary thing. Um, I should never try this. Um, and and what a what a sad coincidence that I happen to be roommates with this like weird, uh, unique addict. And then you look out the window like a zombie movie, and you're like, oh, it's every, it's spreading yeah. to everybody. And I thought, surely it like, was he. You were roommates with Patient Zero, exactly. And I thought, surely they'll they'll ban this. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know the, the the teachers, and we'll you yeah. know, we'll get together with the administrators. I remember nine and... <laughs> eleven. I thought they're not going to show this footage much. Yeah, right. I didn't think they were going to show the planes <laughs> much on television. I was like, oh, I was very wrong about that. <laughs> yes. And that's a fairly conscious decision. Like, oh, this is bad. As crazy as it is to say, it was it was way less moral in the early days. It was the hot or not thing, right? Or well, that was after that. There was there. It basically was a tool for stalking. When it was first invented, mm -hmm. um, and so it, it would it would tell you the I'm last. I'm picturing Mark Zuckerberg at a at, on stage being like, "It's a tool for stalking." <laughs> Thank you. It would tell you which campus computer the the uh, the person had last signed in on. Jesus. So you had um, the Kushners of the world, you know, yeah. uh, uh, just looking up people and seeing, you know, oh, she she was she's at Science Center B. Let's go. So it, it was. It had a really like a uh, weaponized, antagonistic yeah. vibe to it. It 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 wasn't um, the the Facebook that like our our moms are all on today. That's, it was much more hostile and intense. That's wild. Yeah. Um, a great. And then what do you? <laughs> and then tell me, you're one of the few people that's not interested. One of the few people in America who's not interested in being famous. Yeah. Why? What 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 am I missing? Right. Well, it's two things. So one thing is just I made the decision really early on to not do the social media thing because yeah. I was like frankly frightened of it. Yeah. Frightened of how much time it would it would it would consume, and I just didn't want to go anywhere near it. Um, and the other thing is I just never thought that I would be a successful, famous person. Yeah. Because um, you know, as a as a as a writer of, of fiction, I write short yeah. stories and novels and for TV and film. The 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 most important thing to do is to have a protagonist that is like rootable and likable and sympathetic. Yeah. Um, and I just never saw myself like, I'm self-aware enough to know that I myself was never going to be like a compelling protagonist for people. I would much rather write protagonists is uh, it, that the do you, audience Is it would... because you know yourself too well? Because uh, you seem like a nice moral guy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like but, you don't. But you're my, father of two, happily married. <laughs> but my protagonists are way more sympathetic. You know, got it. It's like I can't compete with like a you know, a uh, like a, a sweet talking bear in the forest too. You know, <laughs> like I can always come up with a character that's way more appealing. Yeah, than the myself. trick is you make yourself seem like the sweet talking bear, and that's the thing I can never do. Yeah, is the lying part. Yeah. Uh, I actually, yeah, I just, I I would rather make up a fictional world than, than lie and about my own. Yeah, you're too ethical. It's it's just hard. It's hard for me to pull it off. I'm also a bad liar in person. Yeah, that's interesting. And and it is, it, you see the spoils of it, right? Yeah. You have many famous friends and it's like, you see the spoils of, yeah. of fame and money and wealth and access and status and yeah. 
uh, and you're still like, mm, no. There are advantages too, though. I mean, for example, right. there really are. I mean, you, um, you're you less you're less branded. You have, I, there are a number of like film and, I mean, many of the film and TV projects that I've worked on that like your listeners would know about don't have my name on it. Um, Meaning and, you did punch up? Or, or story work or any yeah. number of things. Um, and- uh, Will you tell us or no? No, they, they make you sign things. Oh, you know. got it, got it, got yeah, it. Yeah, and it, and and that kind of anonymity actually can be like it, it can widen the scope of what you're allowed to do. Oh, that's interesting. Like you do darker things than I would think. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ominous. Oh yeah. Um, the the fact that you saw Facebook, the Facebook, yeah, is like. I find it historically like riveting. I would be a totally because it's a weird version of the social network. Yes, like it's a weird version of the movie, it's which like I the, actually didn't. The movie I have problems with, but yeah, like, it's like the Rosencrantz and Guildenstern of like I'm like a minor peripheral character. Yeah. in the drama of the social network, which is playing out like literally next to me, physically yes. next to me, and I'm in the corner watching this, and I'm like, I don't want to get mixed up in this shit. But I, I do think my life would have been very different if I had made the decision to be on social media. I think I would have written a lot fewer books. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've written 10 books. I think I would be lucky if I had had time to write like three or four. If I had spent the number- Because you'd be busy posting and the, coming up with premises. Just like truly the number of hours that it takes to be funny online. Yeah. It, it's a lot of, yeah. I, I know a lot of people it's who consuming, do it. It's consuming, yeah. It's a lot of hours. And so yeah. I think I would, and and so I th and and I, I also don't think that my books were very good until about like the fifth or sixth book. Why? Um, because I hadn't practiced writing enough. <laughs> Interesting. You know, because I was still learning like how to do Is it. Is it and what was it? Premise, weak premises or weak execution? Story. Either? Yeah. Story. And so I I feel premise like or no, the premises were always. You just think you didn't do them right. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I did them right for a while. Um, and so if I had been on social media and I was still on book three, I maybe never would have written any yeah. books that I was proud of. Yeah. And so like, I'm very grateful. At the same time, maybe people would know about the books. <laughs> so that's sort yeah. of, the, that's kind of, I, I, I often think of like the, the sliding doors. Like yeah. what, what would my life be like if I had gone the sort of social media, internet quips route. I would have fewer books, but they wouldn't be as good. But and you'd get, I mean, your advances will be bigger. Right, more people more would read sales. them. Yes, it would be a different life. Yeah. Instead, I've, I've written like 10 more obscure books. Yeah. And I'm really excited about them, but I've made this sort of deal where, you know, yeah. very few people know about I them. I mean, again, you could say you're 24, no one would <laughs> question it. You could just change your name. Go on social media tomorrow. And yeah, like, change your name. Yeah. You, you're, you could, I, half your shit are would be great tweets anyway yeah just say i like, pretend that i'm coming up with it now yeah do no it. one's gonna if you think anyone's gonna look it up <laughs> you think anyone's gonna do you're fucking <laughs> out you really local, overestimate people <laughs> go to their local library yeah and, okay let's yes see. hey did you like that did you like that yeah did you like it though you want more don't want to work would rather watch videos of me grab ass with people first of all go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.